So there's a couple of exciting things about Hydra. One is it's accessible nervous system. The other thing is its idea that it doesn't age, that given enough food and resources, this animal could live forever. If it was cut into dozens of pieces, those individual pieces would form new animals. So it has this amazing regenerative ability. We've been studying this animal for a long time, actually. It's kind of surprising that Hydra research goes back hundreds of years. So why are we excited about this particular point in time? And there's a couple of things that have happened recently that makes Hydra research particularly exciting now. One is that we have new genetic tools. So we can manipulate the genome of these animals, and we can do it in a way that allows us to visualize the activity of the neurons. So we have new indicators of neural activity uh, that are based on fluorescence or light. So we can use light to map the activity of the brain and the uh, muscle system. The other exciting thing is that we have micro nanotechnologies that allow us to manipulate these animals at the very small length scales that are natural to this organism's biology. And so that's one of the things that Krishna in the lab has pioneered, the idea that we can take microfabricated devices using technologies that we use to build, say, semiconductor devices like you might have in your cell phone, and we can build chambers to interrogate these animals, both electrically and optically, to study their behavior, to manipulate their environment, to see how these animals sense what's going on around them, and then perform actions. And so this ability to kind of manipulate the environment on this micro scale, the ability to manipulate the animal's genome, kind of is opening up this new field in hydro research where we'll be able to answer questions at a fundamental level that was previously not possible. What we're going towards is building this platform that lets us look at their behaviors on a very long time scale basis and then trying to figure out what sort of interesting complex behaviors they can have.